Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for my client Lewis's vlog, and we started the week off with a uh, bench press here. So, uh, for those who are unaware, Lewis is someone who we've rebuilt. Um, he had just gotten kind of through his novice phase before, got uh, an injury, required surgery, then had a medical condition that got him really sick, uh, lost a bunch of weight, and we had to rebuild him from there. So we're building back up. We've been at this for months. Uh, he has now deadlifted over four plates. You know, he's closing in. He's almost at his two-plate bench. It's a little bit harder for him. You know, three-plate squat, all that stuff. So we're, we're getting up to where uh, he's getting pretty decent. He's going to keep moving forward. He's going to get bigger, going to get stronger. So uh, we run him on conjugate. And I run him on a very basic conjugate. Um, he is in the process still of getting a, a rack that will fit his place because uh, it's kind of hard for us to do some of the heavier squatting and things like that that I would really like to do safely for him uh, because of his setup, right? And you always get people who say, well, can he just learn to bail out of the squat? Look at where he trains, okay? Number one, that's a skill you need, you need to learn and develop and I can't teach that long distance safely. Number two, it means he will never be able to compete in powerlifting if he chooses to later because you'll, be, you'll get lifetime bans for doing that from federations. If you do that one time, you'll, you'll never be allowed on a platform again. Uh, then, you know, the, the situation where you look at all the stuff around him. He would destroy stuff. Right? It's not an option for him. Uh, so, so again, for, I've had that come up in these before uh, in comments, and I'm sorry, guys, it's just not viable for him. Now, uh, we have him do some pretty basic movements. I, I'm going to want him to correct these rows. I'm, I'm aware that he has way too much control on the eccentric, right? He needs to be more explosive on these, but I'll, I'll discuss that with him later. Uh, but we just do a few basic lifts, right? We have his max work. We have his speed work. Uh, we follow it up with some basic movements for, for hypertrophy. They're all 10 rep sets, and in that case, uh, you saw some pause benching, chin-ups, rows, lateral raises, right? JM presses. Uh, lower body days, kind of similar idea. We did a, a max squat, a training max. Then he does some good mornings. He does a split squats with dumbbells to the equipment he has available. Uh, we do glute bridges and hanging leg raises. Right, and and most of this is done for for around three sets of ten. And and again, there's no need to vary this stuff or use any sort of complex uh, programming for this young man. We we just run conjugate with max work, speed work, rotating maxes. I'm trying to bring his exercise selection down because I just don't think that he needs the large selection. Um, and that's another topic too that I've I've uh, evolved on as a coach over time for even my conjugate lifters. Right? So something I've evolved on is that people who are not going to compete in equipped powerlifting, who don't have access to all the equipment, we shouldn't run the traditional max effort model of West Side. Okay, and and I want to be clear on that. Uh, it's it's not necessary. I'm not saying they won't get just as strong, because I I have found that they do. There's no downside, it's just that there's no, no real benefit either. And that's, again, a very nuanced topic. Uh, maybe I need to make some videos later discussing why that is. And a lot of it has to do with uh, just the differences in the poundages that their body is subjected to. All right. Uh, here he is doing his hanging leg raises. Uh, and again, we finish up the work with his speed bench, and then it's followed by the same supplemental lifts. And then we do uh, speed squats and then speed pulls, and we rotate waves of sumo and conventional. Right? Sorry, there's a bird out there. It's it's kind of morning time still here, waking up. It's my uh, my first bit of work for the day is getting this vlog knocked out. So here he is finishing up his other work. And yeah, this vlog is a little short today, but it's uh, this is the footage that I got this week, so it's going to be a little more brief. So I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.